Hey, it's a DM Monet and I'm back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And also turn on post notifications so you can be notified of my next post. So y'all, it's that time of year. And you know what I'm talking about? It's spring, which means spring cleaning. Yeah, yeah. In honor of spring and spring cleaning, I'm gonna do a closet clean out. Now, the last time I cleaned my closet out was the last time y'all seen a video about it, which was like two years ago. Well, maybe three, <laughs> I'm not sure. It's time for me to go through all of my clothes and get rid of what's not serving me anymore. I am starting this kind of late in the day, but hopefully I can finish this closet clean out with enough time for me to be able to go to the store and like donate them and like sell them, etc. Because there's a second street um, by me. There's also this place called Second Ave where I can donate my clothes and then play those closets. So I want to sell my clothes to Second Street and play those closets, see what they take, you know, cause sometimes they be acting a little stingy, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to be giving you no bread or whatever, but yeah anything they don't want i'm just gonna donate it and plus any of the clothes that i feel like are not worth anything i'm just gonna automatically put them in the donation pile so i'm gonna have three piles one for play-dohs one for second street and one for donation and i'm gonna like you know go through all the clothes see which items match the vibe of what store because you know they be looking for certain aesthetics especially play-doh's closet i don't know they so bougie for no reason i don't think i'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff because a lot of like the ugly ugly stuff i kind of like got rid of over time but um there are definitely some items that i need to just let go of especially jeans and jean shorts because i have a lot of those we're probably gonna start i know that everything on my clothing rack i'm not getting rid of because those are the things i wear currently but i know inside of my chest where my jeans are at there's some things getting rid of all of them skinny jeans yeah it's gonna be a time we're just gonna get straight into it because we're on a time we're not really on a time crunch but i don't want to be here all day you know what i'm saying like who wants to do this all day but I know that closet of mine, child, that's gonna be last. We're gonna save the best for last, but let's start in this little corner, as I always do, and get to getting rid of stuff. So this is my armoire, and I keep my sweats in here, um, jean shorts, jean skirts, sweatshirts sweaters leggings pajamas all in here so for the most part i've kind of worn a lot of the stuff that usually goes in here but i know that up here i kind of want to keep all of this stuff i'm already starting off bad hold on so these leggings right here i can get rid of because they just fit me so bad oh they're dance skin leggings they're just bad. So, who can I get these to? Play-Dohs. Yeah. So, I'm gonna put Play-Dohs over here. I'm gonna show you the piles later. Had to bring y'all down a bit, but I'm also gonna get rid of these Juicy Couture Velour sweatpants. I don't even have the sweater to match. So, I'm gonna give these to Play-Dohs as well because, I don't know, they like stuff like that, like the leggings and the sweatpants. So I'm gonna give them those two. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Second Street all my bad gal stuff. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they'll give me bread. You think they'll give me bread? <laughs> well, so everything at the top though, like my sweatpants and stuff, I'm keeping. So we're not really gonna touch that. I know this second row right here needs some work, needs some evaluating. So we're gonna do that. Cause I know I have a lot of skinny jeans back there. So yeah. Y'all see all of this? It's out of here. All of it, all of it, all of it is going, okay? So American Eagle jeans, who should I give these to? Ooh, they ripped in the back too. Who should I give these to? Are these giving Second Street or Play-Dohs? I feel like the real fashion people be in Second Street and they don't wear skinny jeans anymore. 
But them girls in Play-Dohs, oh, they're going to chew these up. So they're going to right to Play-Dohs. Mm -hmm. True religion jeans, they're skinny. Skinny trues. I think they're kids. But who wears white jeans? But since they're trues, I'm going to give them to Second Street. And I know I said they're skinny, but they're low rise. Am I selling? Like, should I keep those? Should I keep those? Nah. These are some jeans from Express. Another pair of skinny jeans with a little stripe on the side. Play-Doh's closet. I made these. And I didn't want to get rid of them. But Lord knows I'm not wearing them again. Ever. <laughs> So, uh, I feel like, I don't know. I really don't. We're gonna give them the second straight. <laughs> These are kinda cool, not gonna lie. Snappy jeans. Every time I come across these jeans, I'm like, conflicted. But, you know you don't want these. These are kinda fishy, so. I'm gonna let Second Street tell me if they want them or not. Okay, so I'm gonna continue going through all of these clothes. And then once I get to like the pajamas at the bottom, cause there's a drawer, I'm gonna tune back in with y'all. But yeah, keep adding to these little piles. And I'll show you guys what I placed in those piles as well. some stuff like I said this is not about to be like a huge closet clean out type vibe I'm just getting rid of some stuff that I know I'm not gonna wear anymore I don't think it's gonna be like excessive like how it was the last time but I did get rid of a lot of jean shorts and like skinny jeans and stuff and I'm so glad those are out of the way because now I can fit my little sweatsuits as you can tell I kind of like organized it a little bit I color coded um all of my jean skirts and jean shorts the front is the jean skirts or like skirts yeah and then the back is jean shorts and i put those in the back because you know it's not summer summer is not here yet so there's no reason for my shorts to be at like there's no reason for me to have access to my shorts for real so yeah finally was able to fit my sweatsuits cargo pants is kind of in the back i might switch it because I grab for my cargo pants more often than anything else. And as for the bottom, I kind of like cleared that out like this where the sweaters are. I kind of cleared that out mid winter when I noticed there were some sweaters in there that I didn't want. So all of those sweaters and like sweater dresses and bodysuits 
I'm keeping. There's like two cardigans, a sweater, sweater dress, a velour body, like jumpsuit, and then some scarves, knitwear and stuff. So now for this bottom drawer right here, which is my pajamas. So this bottom drawer right here is like extra sweatpants and pajamas. So for the most part, I know I'm keeping these pajamas, but there are some robes in here that I want to get rid of. So yeah, and these are just like my my leisure lounge clothes for real. <laughs> like like I have my Kappa sweatpants down here, my Under Armour sweatpants, but you know stuff like this, old pink. This can go right. Well, should I keep this for pajamas? See, this is what my problem is. I was about to throw this right in the pile, but like this, I know somebody will buy it. Like Plato's Closet will take this for me, right? And I don't wear it ever. So we're just gonna get rid of it. It's been with me for a couple of years now. I don't wear pink, so. That's one thing I can give away. There's a lot of stuff in the Plato's Closet um, pile. Just because I don't wanna give Second Street like cheapy material stuff because they're really like, you know, that's where the fashion people go. So, you know, I don't even want to do that to them. I could get rid of this pink robe. This is not me anymore. I have my purple, I have two purple robes and a nice cream long robe. This, <laughs> what I look like wearing pink. Y'all know who, what I bang. Oh, okay, so. I also have this robe. I'm gonna keep this because this was a gift to me from my aunt and it's very cute and cozy and it's long and it's like a mauve color forgive me if i'm wrong y'all the color police is gonna come for me i'm gonna keep this plus i'm more of a long robe girl now although my my um purple robe is short i have a short one and a long one so yeah then this pink onesie christmas themed i think this was gifted to me as well during like secret santa when i was in gymnastics but like this has served as time but it's just so good making space for everything oh my gosh this is so freeing if you guys haven't cleaned your closet out yet i say do it because you will feel so much better when you like get rid of things that you don't need you know you don't want but you're just holding on to if you're um you know I wouldn't say a shopper, but like just into fashion and stuff like I am, you know that like that comes with stuffing your closet to the point where like you have no space for anything else. And like literally I do not. I have no space for anything. But one thing about me, I'm going to still buy stuff. So right now I'm just fixing the drawer up so it could be nice and neat because so far I got rid of what I don't want. See, like, this is my purple robe, the long one. I have, like, four robes. Enough is enough, right? Actually, I'm lying. I have five robes. I have a white one, too. This is my white robe. It's so cute. It's short. It's supposed to be sexy. I don't know where I got this from. I think I probably, just, like, took it from my mom. Maybe she gave it to me, but it's cute. I haven't worn it yet because, like, you know, I'm trying to be... Comfy, not sexy, girl. folding everything this is how the drawer looks yeah we're gonna move on to this dresser right here and then see what i can get rid of over there why do i feel like i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> but it, it needs to be done like that didn't take me long so i'm gonna just get rid of some stuff over here i don't really feel like talking about it like i really don't so we're just gonna time lapse this, get rid of stuff, and then when I'm done, we're gonna move on to the next dresser, and then we're gonna regroup, and I'm gonna show you guys 
what I got rid of, what's going where, and then we're gonna finish off with my jacket closet. <laughs> closet pile and I just got rid of like some shawls a lot of dresses and like two-piece sets that give like high school like girl you don't even wear these bright colors anymore so all these weird patterns plaid like I held on to this dress for so many years because I'm like you haven't worn this yet you're gonna wear it and never did and then, you know, a pair of shorts. And then everything else, y'all kind of like saw for real, which was like the um, the robes and all the little pajamas that I don't want. And then for Second Street, I'm kind of like giving them streetwear pieces. So some graphic tees, cause everybody and their mom has this shirt. And I was like, do I want this shirt? Like, do I want to keep it? Because it's TLC and I love TLC, but like I have another TLC shirt I also got rid of a Tupac shirt because I have another Tupac shirt. I didn't get rid of my Biggie shirt. Got rid of this um, baseball, I mean not baseball, this basketball jersey. Because I just feel like it's mad corny. Like, I got it from Primark. It's not even a real team. And then this baseball jersey. And I was kind of like contemplating whether I wanted to give this away or not because like, girl it's a baseball jersey but like it's kind of sus it says bang bros and then like who is that on the back and i'm just like i don't have nothing to match this so we're just not even gonna do that got rid of some levi's shirts from black friday 
this was this year's Black Friday. This was last year's Black Friday, but I'm not a Levi's girl anymore. And I just don't like the vibe of walking around with Levi's plastered on my chest like I'm Superman. I don't like that. I got this shirt from Zara and you know, I tried to love it, but it was just showing like, if this was an extra small, I would have kept it. But the V, like not the V, the scoop in the neck was just too low for me. I don't like showing cleavage and it just doesn't fit tight around my torso. It's just like such a dumb shirt. Got rid of like these towel material shirts. And I'm like, would they want these? I don't know, but they'll be cool basics for somebody. I also got rid of this Aaliyah shirt. And it was hard for me to let go of my girl, but like, I don't have nothing to go with this. So yeah, and then the rest are like some jeans. I'm about to go through my, um, my denim chest and get rid of some denim. And y'all know, <laughs> I be holding on to denim like that's my baby because it is, I love denim, but like, I have too many jeans and it's time to get rid of some and I know that majority of these are probably going to go to second street so let's go through that and then we're going to go through um my last dresser which is only one, two, three, five. Oh, it's kind of more drawers but I'm not really getting rid of like any socks or anything so it's only five drawers we're going to go through oh no actually Four. It's only four drawers because one is socks, one is like underwear and stuff. So there's four drawers that we have to go through, which is my long sleeve tops and like um, flannels, um, active wear, business casual stuff, and then like old family reunion tees and other nonsense. And I do have some stuff in the laundry, but that stuff is in the laundry because I wear it. Let's go through my denim chest.
done with all of my dressers and everything um i have the two piles i'm not sure if we're gonna make it to plato's closet in second street today because it is almost six so i'll probably do like a whole second vlog of me bringing my clothes to both um the, the thrift stores and maybe i might get some thrifting in you know make it a whole little day like a thrift with me and then you know selling my clothes i think i might do that but as for right now i'm just trying to focus on getting rid of all my clothes and just putting them in their respective bags so that when it's time to go everything is set so now we're gonna get into my closet which is a terrible mess okay when i open the closet Try not to scream, okay? Try not to judge me. I don't have that much closet space, so. Yeah, that's just what I'm dealing with, but hopefully I can get rid of some jackets. I be kinda holding on to my stuff, not gonna lie, because I might not wear it now, but I'm gonna wear it later. Especially since I be doing my little get ready with me's. I need variety, I need options, so. We're gonna see what we can get rid of. I don't know if I wanna go through them shoes. And I know I was supposed to go through my shoes to see what, like, I want to give away. But I think for the most part, all of those shoes in there, I want to keep. Only thing I could think of giving away are my sneakers, like my Jordans and stuff. And the rest are just, like, boots, heels, et cetera, et cetera. Stuff I want to keep. I just need shoe boxes. And I don't have shoe boxes. You know, like, those plastic ones. I need that. So there are a bunch of shoes just thrown at the bottom of my closet, but we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to worry about the jackets, okay? Okay. drawers and I'm gonna hang this up on the back of my door but this is my my um long purple robe because you know I'm a purple girl but I have everything period I have everything in its separate piles I actually did end up you know 
taking out some shoes not too crazy like nothing too crazy it's time to say goodbye to these and if you think otherwise you're crazy these were cute for the time that i had them but i just feel like they're so outdated they're not cute to me anymore it's just like Adia, why do you have velvet air forces i used to be a sneakerhead y'all and i used to be getting to the sneakers that i used to see people wearing and that was cute and fishy like those wheat um air forces i think i had those downstairs I think I might give those to Second Street as well, but I'm gonna try to give these to them if they want them. If they want them. I'm also giving away these. Um, who likes 12s anymore? Like, girl. And then I'm giving away these. And these are cute. Like my mom gaslit me into keeping them, but <laughs> I don't like them. I don't want them anymore. She was like, they're purple. And I'm like, you're right. I do have stuff to match, but like, I just don't feel like this is cute anymore. So I'm gonna try to give these to them as well. I put a bunch of denim jackets and I put this denim jacket set, this t-shirt dress that is extremely long on me, a little book bag. And then for Plato's closet, I just put a couple of like weird looking purses that I don't like or want to wear ever again. Let me take this off. Like holographic, a DAB for real. Now the little girlies that go to Plato's closet, they will munch and crunch on this. They would love this. But me, like I'm too grown for that. This bag, this was my John back in the day. But I'm just like, I'm over the she and cheapy stuff era so they could get all the she and stuff because what now i'm about to put everything in bags um and save it for another day when i decide that i want to you know go bring my clothes to plato's closet and second street and then everything else i'm gonna bring to second ave or um, I think there's a unique or like a Goodwill that I could bring it to. I think it's unique and donate the rest of the stuff because I have bags on bags on bags of clothes. Like this is not the only stuff I have. I still have more stuff um, in my basement of clothes that I'm trying to like get rid of and donate that I just never did i did actually i brought some of the clothes to um plato's closet and they paid me 50 dollars, so i was pretty shocked that they bought something for me especially 50 dollars. yeah we're gonna try again i guess that kind of like concludes my video for today because i'm pretty sure y'all don't want to watch me fold clothes and put them in the bags like this is your sign to just go through your closet and figure out what you do and don't want so that you're not you know cluttering your wardrobe and you know just keeping things that you know you'll never wear again and i know it's hard like sometimes you're looking at stuff like i'm gonna wear this one day i'm a y'all like i said the last time i did a closet clean out was like two or three years ago with y'all and the stuff i swore on everything i was gonna wear I didn't and it also helps you rediscover some pieces that you forgot you had that you actually will eat down in but you know it just got overshadowed by everything else new that you just bought like y'all look at this blazer I just found that I forgot that I had I found this blue crop blazer and I, I remember the day I wore this but like you know especially since I'm in like my business casual workwear aesthetic right now you know that's the thing this spring um that's one of the trends you know wearing like business casual stuff but like making it streetwear and making it fishy yeah i want like a cropped um button down shirt and this is perfect a cropped blazer cropped button down shirt vibe like i feel like that would be so cute especially if i had like an asymmetrical button down shirt if you guys know what i mean but i could do that myself like i'll get my own little button down and cut it but look at how cute this is this blue is so pretty and i completely forgot i had it like i'm really into my blazers right now so 
I'm glad I just rediscovered this. It looks better open, but yeah. That's my whole thing about like going through your closet and seeing what you do and don't want, remembering what you have, thinking of outfits that you can make. Also, when you're doing this, one tip I have and like what I do while I'm looking at my clothes is just ask myself like, can you see yourself wearing this? Do you have anything to match this? Do you have any shoes to match this? Cause you know, you can play around with clothes and, and like, the top you wear and the, and the um, bottoms you wear, but what shoe are you gonna wear? Now it's quiet, like really ask yourself, do you have other pieces that will mesh well with the item in question? So that's how I, you know, get rid of things. And I'd be like, girl, be for real. Like, I know you're looking at it right now, like, dang, I really gotta get rid of this. I kind of like this. I mean, yeah, you liked it, you bought it, but like, let's be real. Let's think about your style going into 2024. Let's look at all the trends that you're leaning towards and that you're inspired by. And does this fit? But honestly, I am so glad that I decided to do this, um, especially since it has freed up a little bit of space. Not too much now, because it's still, still cluttered up in here, but it did free some space of items that were just not serving me anymore. It did make a little bit more room in my closet because that junk, I couldn't even go like this. I could go like this now. So, you know, improvements, improvements in progress. It's not gonna get any better until I move out and get my own space with bigger closet space. Like, that's just was tea. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and were inspired and motivated to get in your closet and clean it up for spring. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend and tell them to help me get to 20k because we are on the road to 20k. Turn on post notifications so you can be notified of my next post and follow me on all of my socials which are TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, at Adia Monet, so you can connect with me outside of YouTube and tune into my Get Ready With Me's if you want some outfit inspo and just to see what I've been doing with my fashion lately. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, that will be when I decide to go to the thrift store and whatever, whatnot. But either way, you guys, you guys will see it. Bye, y'all.